So already in 2015, we've seen one massive Dockside Music Festival. We've all been left quackers with a trail of ducks around the city. Yes. We've had a Beatles homecoming gig at the arena mm -hmm. and three queens floating on the bellies. Yeah, but that was just in your flat last Saturday night, to be fair. True. But anyway, the party in Liverpool has just begun as this summer is about to get even more exciting. It certainly is. Lots more gigs, lots more fezzies and lots more events to tell you about. And this is the show that will do it. Yes, if you love the city and you want to find out exactly what's happening first, then stay right where you are. His name is Jay Hines. She's Ellie Phillips. And this is The Guide on Bay TV Liverpool. Hello you, welcome to The Guide on Bay TV Liverpool with Jay and Ellie and look where we are. Yeah. How cool is this? It's so cool in here. Feels like something a bit Amsterdamish. Oh yeah. But it's nice. It's the heebie-jeebies basement. Very cool in here for your show, for your city. Yes, very cool in here, as are the artists that we have on this week's show. We had to get him back on because uh, he's just that good. We've got Paul Wilts performing live for us at the end of the show. And as well, someone very beautiful. She's got yeah. the voice of an angel. Oh, yeah. No, it's not you, Ellie Phillips. It's a lovely lady, local lass, Claire Sophia, chats to us very soon. Yes, and we have some big, big news for you guys in this week's show. Should we tell them now? Yes. So it is the Mersey River Festival this weekend and Jay and I are hosting the main stage at the Pierhead on Sunday, headlined by the one and only Rebecca Ferguson. Home and Beds will be there, Connie Lush and the Full Guide team will be recording a very special show for next Thursday night. Looking forward to that. Uh, as well, we go backstage at the Liverpool Empire and meet the cast of the producers. Fingers crossed we find Jason Manford and Ross yes. Noble. And I'm going to take you backstage at a brand new talent competition happening in the city. So if you've got a talent of any kind, don't miss this one. Yeah, I'll be watching that one. You know, if you've got a talent, Jay, if you've got yeah. one. What, what are you doing? Me talent? What, what's, what's that? Talking like a dolphin. Oh, give me strength. Anyway, while I leave Flipper here to practice his talent, I'd like to introduce you to someone with a real talent. It's time to head over to the guide stage for the first musician of this week. It's the beautiful Claire Sophia. Oh, helicopter, oh, helicopter. No, no, no. I promise you The more you give it up The less I want you to And I'm sorry, I'm so sorry For treating you this way But I guess you wouldn't like it If I was on you every day I just feel so cold And I can't get close And I just feel so cold, so cold And I can't get close Close to you at all. Close to you at all. You say you want me, but I say I don't want you. Tell me you need me, but I wish it wasn't true. You say please trust me, but I'm finding it so hard. I think the karma should have dealt you different cuts. And I'm sorry, I'm so sorry for treating you this way. But I guess you wouldn't like it if I was on you every day. I, I just feel so cold. And I can't get close. And I just feel so cold, so cold. And I can't get close, close to you at all. I'm not close to you at all. I'm not close to you at all. I'm not close to you at all Every time that we get close I seem to pull away Telling me I've been on your mind In your thoughts all day And I know that we could be Something really cool Am I fooling myself That I don't feel for you Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Sophia, how good was that? Well done, mate. Uh, so tell us about that song. What song is that? So that's called Coles and it's off my upcoming P EP and that's called Sweet Revenge. So Sweet Revenge is out EP. very soon. Yeah. Now you are, from what I remember, a bit of a club diva. You like your dancey stuff. <laughs> yeah, I do. Is that all over the EP? Um, to be honest, it's a mix. So I, I like um, soul and I like pop music, but then I really like dance music, so like electronic and house music. So I've sort of like combined those and met them in the middle. Brilliant. I think. Because we met you at Out On Stage, yeah, which we did. hosted not long back. Yeah. And we, we had to get you on the show. You've done oh, a cover of Basement yeah. Jack's Good Luck. Yeah. It was amazing. I was like <laughs> raving and it was quality. Thank you. So it was a good competition, but you're involved in another competition. Yeah, I am. I know, I wasn't what's got into me. I'm not normally a competition type of person. <laughs> but yeah, I'm in, what's it called? It's called The Best of Liverpool. The Best of Liverpool. Yeah, well, so. in just a second, we're going to hear more about The Best of Liverpool. A yeah. uh, little bit more about you. Busy summer ahead. I know you're yeah. applying for all the festivals. Yeah, I am, yeah. I'm it's just... a big year in Liverpool, music-wise, this year. It is. It? Yeah, it is, to be fair. I know there's a lot going on. Um, I'm just trying to now get my own original material out and gig that and see how that goes and hopefully it's going to go well. Okay. <laughs> so. Is it tough at the moment? Are you, you know, is it hard work trying it, to try to break through and get onto these festivals? Yeah, it is because I mean, I say it's hard work. It's just like it's trying to know what way to go with things and, and, and meet your contacts and things like that. So it's hard in that respect, but you've just got to keep going in, in the music business, I think. So loads of gigs coming up, yeah. loads of festivals, hopefully, um, and loads online as well. Where can we find out more? Yeah, so basically you can follow me on Twitter, which is Claire Sophia Music. Um, on Instagram, it's Claire Sophia Music, and Facebook, it's Claire Sophia Music. So <laughs> well, it's that easy, Claire Sophia Music. Yeah, basically. Uh, what about gigs? That's all on Facebook, is it? Yeah, so they, I put my gigs on Facebook and I put them on Twitter as well. So I mean, we do a lot of we do a lot of cover gigs as well, but. You'll find everything on there. Brilliant. She's superb live, so oh, make sure you get to see her if you can do. Claire <laughs> Sophia, tell your lovely sister Lauren we said hello as well. Hi, Lauren. Um, big congrats <laughs> to her with that new little baby. Thanks for coming on the guide. Talking to the best of Liverpool just before, though, uh, three big heats, one in May, one in June, one in July, and a big final at Liverpool Loves in August. This is what happened at heat number one with our Ellie Phillips. OK, so we are at a loft hotel in Liverpool, and that's because the best of Liverpool, the first heat of the best of Liverpool, is happening tonight, and I'm joined by one of the organisers, Steve Fletcher. Steve, how's it all going, preparations? It's, it's going very, very well, yeah. We've had some amazing talent get in contact. There's some brilliant bands, performers on stage tonight, really surpassed our expectations in terms of the standards. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good night. We've got a big night ahead tonight, the first heat, but there are still a few heats to come, and you're still looking for acts, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, with the first the first call outs we've had over the last uh, over the course of May, we haven't really had a, a variety of talent yeah. to get in contact. It's been mostly singers and bands, so we're still on the lookout for uh, dancers, uh, comedians, magicians. You say comedians, not Jay Hine, though, and his dolphin noises. We don't need any of that, do we? Definitely not Jay <laughs> Hine. He's already the best of Liverpool. <laughs> oh, I like Play it. I like it. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's brilliant. So you, you've got more acts um, that you're looking for, a variety of acts, and they get yeah. to do some a big performance at the end of this, don't they, if they win? Yeah, so basically the, the, the competition is over the course of the next few months. We're going to be finding all the talents in June and July, and then the final is taking place at the Liverpool Lush Festival on the Saturday night, the 8th of August. On the main stage is the uh, Circus Big Top in front of around about a thousand Big festival people. feel. Big festival feel, yeah. So we're hoping to have a variety of talents yeah. all showcased on the, on the one night, yeah. and the audience get to decide who is who's crowned the best of Liverpool. Brilliant stuff. And so you talk about the audience that's going to be there. If people want to come, they might not want to take part in the Best of Liverpool, but they want to come and see the talent. How do they do that? Yeah, just go to the bestofliverpool.co.uk. You can get free tickets on there. Just make sure that you book your tickets in advance so you're not, you definitely get in. Uh, but it's the Circus Big Top, I think there's about a thousand spaces available. So definitely lots of opportunity for people there. Right. Well, good luck with it all. I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.
That looks like a good comp, that. Do you know really what? Good. It was a brilliant night. So much talent. And there's going to be another heat at the end of June. So if anyone watching wants to get involved, then check out our Twitter feed at The Guide Bay TV for all of the details. Lots of gig info on there. And as well, we're on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash The Guide Bay TV. Give us a little like and spread the word. After the break, we'll be bringing you all of the details you need on this weekend's Mersey River Festival. We'll be hosting the main stage on Sunday, headlined by the one and only Rebecca Ferguson. As well, we go backstage at the Liverpool Empire. Now, we're on a mission to find two comedy legends. Ross Noble and Jason Manford. Will it happen? You'll find out after this when the guide returns with Jay and Ellie on Bay TV Liverpool here at Hebe Jeebies. Welcome back to the only show anywhere that keeps you up to date with all of the music, events and entertainment action on Merseyside. It's The Guide with Jay and Ellie on Bay TV Liverpool. And get on this for a little fact, right? I found this out this morning, I've got to share it. Did you know that Liverpool, more than any other city in the world, has in got... The world. In the world. Yeah. Something about square feet, which I didn't really understand. <laughs> but there's more gigs in every single week in Liverpool than there is anywhere on the planet. That's crazy. Isn't that it? is why Liverpool is the best. Yes, it certainly it is. is indeed. And lots happening, of course. This weekend coming is the Mersey River Festival. More details on that shortly. But next weekend, 13th, 14th of June, yep. Farm Feast is back, taking over Claremont Farm. Uh, lots of live music, lots of food, lots of sheep. Yes. Um, music <laughs> on the Saturday, it's all headlined by the farm. We've got Vince, Cavalry, Scarlet, Edgar Jones, She Do the Gun, the big old line. And that of this. is just the Saturday. Yeah. So on the Sunday, we've got the likes of Paddy Clegg, the Rab Ragamuffins, even, the Mono LP and uh, Jimmy and the Revolvers all performing. It's a great weekend, so do not miss that. We'll be there as well filming the show, so check us out yeah. if you see us at the farm. Um, headline Farm Feast next weekend. Uh, as well, Rock and Roll Marathon's yeah. coming soon. Africa OEA oh yeah, is happening, 20th and 21st of June. And we've got to tell you, we're two shows in now. We are. We are now Juice FM presenters. Yes, we are. Uh, we do a show, Sunday's 10pm. We get to feature local music. Last week, the Hummingbirds, Sam Volo and Katie Alex were featured. Find out who's featured this week by listening to Juice Sunday night, 10pm with Jay. And Ellie. Yes, don't miss that one. And uh, Producers is currently running at the Empire Theatre. It runs until Saturday, so you've still got time to get to it. It's got a brilliant cast, so we had to get down to the Empire Theatre and go backstage to grab some of them and have a bit of a natter. So we're on stage at the Liverpool Empire. Look how beautiful that is behind us. Um, and look how beautiful oh, this oh, vision is as well. <laughs> I was going to say the theatre. Ross Noble is with us. How are you, mate? I'm very well indeed, thanks. Very well. Are you enjoying Liverpool? I'm loving it, yes. Absolutely loving it. Now, Ross, yeah. you play a, a, a Nazi playwright. Did you ever think yeah. in your lifetime that that's a role that you would be taking on? Well, that's why I got the part. I'm a well, <laughs> I'm a well known racist. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking, by the way. I'm joking. <laughs> it's a joke. Um, it was, oh, hang on. That's, uh, okay, it was, uh, oh, God, that's it was that's Holmes. Answer it, answer it. No, no, that's the, uh, that's the local rabbi seeing, right. so, <laughs> seeing he's not happy. Um, uh, well, I went and saw the show when it was in the West End. Right, okay. And, uh, and just loved it. Like, I just went, this is the best musical I've ever seen, yeah. you know, it just completely blew me away. So, um, and I was watching it and I sort of, I saw the Franz, you know, character and I thought, if I ever do musical theatre... Really? Yeah, no, I did. I looked at it and I just went... And then, and then when they made the movie version, uh, Will Ferrell played it. Yeah. So it's sort of got... There's a history of sort of, like, comedy types doing it. Yeah. And then... Um, yeah, and then when Jason got cast, uh, you As know, Leo. just to... Yeah, yeah, to star in the show, and they said, uh, you know, who should we get for France? And then he put my name forward and I went in and... Yeah, and then so, you know, I found myself... And when you came into the audition, oh. how was that? Because obviously there's a lot of singing, dancing, German yeah. accents. What did you have to do? Well, I came... It was funny, actually, because they said, oh, just, just coming for a meeting, just, you know, just a meeting. Yeah. Just, you know, just coming for a meeting. Chat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I walked in and there's someone sat at the piano and I went, oh, OK, this uh -oh. is this is more than just a meeting, isn't it? <laughs> and then, uh, so, yeah, so I just went for it and uh, and they went... And it was, you know, it was an interesting thing because, you know, they could have turned around and just gone... Nah. Are you insane? <laughs> what are you doing? And they just went, oh, right, cool, yeah. So, so yeah. you've always been able to sing then? Is that something that... Uh, have you found your voice? Well, no, I've always, uh, like, mucked about, you know, yeah. on stage. Yeah, I'll yeah. sing little songs and, and, you know, but I don't, you know, I mean, the thing is, is that, like, Everyone in the cast, like the cast, are phenomenal, phenomenal. and yeah. they've all, and including Jason, uh, uh, you know, he um, 
he trained as an opera singer for this. Do you know what? Yeah. It's incredible because like you wouldn't think if you if you know Jason Manford to think this. And then this big booming voice yeah, comes out yeah, when he yeah. sings, and it's beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Were you yeah. intimidated by that? They, well, they're all trained. <laughs> they're all like trained. You know, they're all yeah. trained. Is what I'm saying. So yeah, so I sort of. Uh, but no, it's all it's all been fine. You know, yeah. turned up and. Uh, yeah. Tell us about you on you on tour with with some comedians. Does that get messy? I can imagine lads on tour. Is I, it? Hang on. <laughs> what, oh, what, oh yeah. Um, <laughs> well, it's that sort of. It, it's funny actually because because Jason and I come from a stand-up background. Yeah. I think everyone sort of expects us to be sort of. Like, Pranks and all that. Well, stuff. well, just sort of like not very disciplined. But yeah. I think we're so. Um, um, I think we're so aware of the fact that that people are going to expect that yeah. that we've been quite. Yeah, so you've I been mean, quite good. But yes, yeah. Okay. But you've, you've a, got a few days left but, in Liverpool, so that could change. It's a, yeah, well, yeah. you know, we have got things planned. Okay. But, uh, have you been out yet in town? Uh, no, not yet. But well, sort of. Yeah, just, just mm. to the local pub. But I think we're gonna. I don't want to give away the location. But yeah, we're, <laughs> we're planning on. Just uh, keep your eye on town the next few <laughs> yes, days. So you're yes. here until Saturday. That's uh, right. You've got a matinee Saturday and Saturday yes. night as well. It's every yeah every night this week, um, and then a show on uh, yeah, and then a matinee uh, in Saturday afternoon as well. Do you know what? We have had some busy weekends uh, over the past couple of months in Liverpool and it's going to get busier and it's going to get much better uh, because this weekend the International Mersey River Festival is coming to town. It's taking over the Albert Dock and the Pier Head. It's going to be huge uh, and with me is the lady responsible for organising this mega, mega event just over there on the Pier Head, Julie Turner. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you, and I haven't done it all on my own. There's a big team behind me from Culture Liverpool. Well, tell me, let's go back. Mersey River Festival, it's been on a couple of years now. It's getting bigger every year, this, isn't it? Certainly is. I'm looking at ways of growing the festival each year. Some really exciting things happening. We've just twinned Liverpool's River Festival with Dublin, so that's really exciting things happening there. We've got an Irish flavour running through our festival. We've included a Dublin city stage on the wow. Saturday at, at Albert Dock. We've also launched the Northern Boat Show, which is the first time we've had a boat show in the, in the north. So that's exciting, you know, prospects ahead for that. So we've got, we've got six tall ships in the Albert Dock. Um, we've got loads for kids to do, loads for all ages, but we've got some, some big stages. You mentioned there we've got a, a community stage, haven't we, by the Liver Beds? No, the community stage is at Man Island, Man Island. Um, and it's called um, the Making Wave stage. So that'll be great Saturday if you love all the old school stuff, but then on the Sunday, Sunday it's going to be the best Sunday is, is absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So we've got some fantastic local artists. It's Liverpool homegrown stage, so mm. everybody on the stage is been brought up in Liverpool Born basically, headlined by Rebecca Ferguson, we've got local artist Kofi, he's going to come along, um, Asa Murphy and an eight-piece swing band, we've got Asa Connie Murphy, Lush. Asa Murphy, by the way, if you, if you don't know him, check him out before the weekend, he's brilliant isn't he? Absolutely so brilliant, good. he'll have the crowds dancing, yeah. it'll be like a real party atmosphere on the Sunday, really looking forward to it, but there's some new up-and-coming bands, um, called, one called The Ambition, mm. um, that's a, a young boy band and I'm really excited to see them, so they're going to make a first appearance for us at the festival. Well, listen, good luck. Um, Thanks, I better Jay. let you go and do some work and get it all, all underway. Um, but it's going to be buzzing this weekend in Liverpool once again as the International Mersey River Festival comes to town. The Albert Dock, Man Island and Pier Head. So come on down tomorrow. It all kicks off on Friday. Julie, thank you. Thank you. Good luck. And see we'll you see then. you on stage on Sunday. Certainly will. Thanks, thank Julie. Thank you. Bye-bye. Cannot wait for the Mersey River Festival this weekend. So excited to be hosting the main stage on Sunday with Rebecca Ferguson headlining. Don't miss that. Right now, though, I'm joined by someone we've already had on the show, but we had to get him back because he's just that good. Mr. Paul Wilts, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. You've got a busy summer coming up, haven't you? Yes, indeed. Yeah, got some nice festivals, uh, starting with uh, the Clatterbridge Music Festival, which oh, is the farm know. festival on, um, in Clatterbridge on yeah. the 14th of June. And then we're playing with China Crisis, remember the great little people. That's amazing! Yeah, that's it, the Fraud Jump Festival How in July. How did that come about? Just through a friend, really, kind of. And they were like, oh, yeah, I like the stuff, get them on. So Brilliant. Them. And, um, and then the main one, the Lymph, yeah. in August, which I think everyone's going to be up for. So, it's going to be huge, yeah, isn't it, this year? With that one, the Buddy Men being back and all that. So, really looking great. forward to that yeah, one. And something be... else that you're pushing at the moment is, of course, brand new EP coming out. Yeah, which is out on iTunes on 8th of June. Yeah. So it's called Take the Sunlight and just say to Paul Take the Sunlight? Take the Sunlight. I'm assuming it's quite a... <laughs> it's actually a very summery Oh, is it? Thing. Okay. <laughs> Bit of a play on words. <laughs> I like that, I like that a lot. And uh, today, uh, you're going to be playing one of the tracks from me. Yeah, it's one of the tracks called Lonely Eyes. So Tell us about that, that track. Yeah, it's, um, it's a song about um, 
uh, about my granddad actually. It's, it's someone uh, you know the kind of longing that I, I didn't see him towards before he passed away. It was kind of move, you know that kind of uh, feeling of wanting to be be close to him, but he was away, and it was kind of a song to relate to that really. And I think that he kind of been. So through, very so. meaningful. Though. Yeah, yeah, to me and see what people make their own interpretations of songs, don't they? So it's brilliant. Yeah, it's just, well, we cannot wait to hear it. Thank you so much for chatting to us. I'm going to leave you now to set up while I go and chat. Okay, to thank you. Cannot wait for this one. Paul Wilkes singing his new single in just a second. Uh, so this weekend it's the Mersey River Festival, three days of live music, and the guides are hosting their own stage. It's a local talent stage, Sunday from 12pm. Rebecca Ferguson, Paddy Clegg, The Ambition. Um, we got The Hummingbirds, we got Connie Lush, just we got Cove. It's huge. Make sure you're on the pier head from 12 this Sunday. Yes, and we will be there filming as well to bring you a special episode for next Thursday at 8.30pm. The guy does the Mersey River Festival. And as well, after Sunday, after we've been on stage, we're also going to be on the radio, <laughs> Juice FM, 10pm, highlighting and showcasing some more great local music. Yes, right now, though, let's pass to the guide stage to hear the brand new single from Mr Paul Wilkes. We'll see you next Thursday. The guy does the Mersey River Festival, 8.30pm on Bay TV Liverpool. See you soon. Moonlight flicker on those lonely, 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 lonely eyes. Come stay with us with those lonely, 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 lonely eyes. Have you ever climbed the mountain? Have you? Where to see? Won't you tell me? Sunlight flicker on those lonely, 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 lonely eyes. Come stay. With those lonely, 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 lonely eyes Have you ever climbed the mountain? Have you ever swam the sea? Won't you tell me? Won't you tell me? Won't you tell me? Won't you tell me?